a movie like Spider-Man No Way Home, which brought in $2 billion, isn't nominated. Did you hear the news? News? What news? We aren't nominated for Best Picture. What? what? But a movie that's called Licorice Pizza, which is a 15-year-old boy who's trying to seduce a 28-year-old woman while doing business ventures is nominated for some reason. Just because Paul Thomas Anderson wrote it, I guess. I thought it was one of the most boring movies I've ever seen. And what makes that a better picture than a superhero movie? Why? There's been all these controversies in the past. I mean, the Moonlight La La Land one was actually pretty entertaining, and I thought that made that award show better. There's a mistake. Moonlight, you guys won Best Picture. How can you mess that up? How do you give them the wrong card? Last year, 2021, they put Best Actor as the last category instead of Best Picture. Because they all thought Chadwick Boseman was going to win, who had recently passed away. But Anthony Hopkins won, who was asleep in his house in Wales, because he didn't think he was going to win. Here I am in my homeland in Wales, and at 83 years of age, I did not expect to get this award. I really didn't. And um, very grateful to the Academy, and thank you. And I want to pay tribute to Chadwick Boseman, who's taken from us far too early and again thank you all very much twenty twenty one Oscars was in a train station for some reason and when I Google it they say this was a great choice who wrote that I do like that they have hosts again I think that's really cool, and I hope they kill it. That was another really awful thing, what they did to Kevin Hart. Trying to make them him apologize again for a joke he made 10 years beforehand. And he did apologize, but he said, I'm not hosting your Oscars. I'm now taking away from all those moments because the night is, is focused on something else now. That's how I see it. Because I saw it like that, I said I would much rather step down and apologize again. While stepping down, once again, I'm sorry if these words hurt. I'm sorry. They haven't adapted to streaming services. You still have to have cable, so I have to go over to my mom's house. I don't have cable. I'm not going to pay another $50 a month for cable. Because I hope this year is a good show. Comment below what your favorite movie of 2021 was. Thanks.